Hi, my name is Lorene Remington. My husband was David Remington Sr. Um, I married him in 1975 when he joined the Portland Fire Department. Uh, he was a full-time firefighter on there um, for about 12 years and he retired from there. He um, had taken a little time off from the fire department and joined uh, Shapley Fire Department in Maine and he had been with them about five or six years. Um, and one of the things that he enjoyed the most at Portland was driving the tiller truck. And uh, he spent many years up on Monjoy Hill driving Engine 5. Um, he loves the fire department, um, always has. Um, he, in Shapley, he was a volunteer up there. We actually lived in Acton, but he joined the Shapley Fire Department. Um, he did anything they needed, driving the rescue, um, he did traffic control, um, he, w he answered like almost every single call there was um, for volunteering up in Shapley. He just loved it. Um, I don't know how he actually came to it, but he has always liked fire trucks. Uh, that's the only choice that he always buys is fire trucks and he wanted to make sure that he bought Anthony his first fire truck. He has everything, the boots, the hat, and, and most of his toys, 90% of them are, have to do with the fire department. Um, he's always enjoyed the fire department. Matter of fact, he, to get into the fi Portland Fire Department, he actually had to eat a lot of food to be able to weigh enough to become a fireman. That, he, you know, made the test and all that. It was, he needed to gain like five pounds to be able to join there, but he loved it. He, he, he lived the fire department. Um, I've seen, I've been to many fires that he was there fighting, and he's actually in a book that one of the Fulton Fire Department guys have written. He has, I think, I believe three books out, and my husband is in one of those pitches. He's coming down over the stairs cleaning up a big fire, um, and back then they called them truckies. Um, and it has a story of, you know, what the, what the firemen do. I have many pictures of him mopping the floor at the fire department. And, and, and uh, he, he just, I don't know what more to say, he just loved the fire department. I would like to share, um, my husband just loved the, his family deeply and um, he loved the fire department. He loved helping people. I always told people, honestly, if I was hurt, I would want my husband to be the one coming because I have seen him in many emergency situations and and he could do anything once the adrenaline starts running to help in any way. We had um, gone down Christmas Eve to Gorham to my son's house and um, that's an hour away from where we lived. and he could not sit down because a call had come out and m honestly my daughter-in-law said do you do you want to go you know and, and he didn't go he he did his best to stay there but believe me he wanted to go when a cup you know a couple weird things did happen that day that um that he when he went to that call before is my dog that Cheyenne that was 17 she never went out in the living room that night and she always went out in the living room whenever he went on a call she stayed in the bedroom with me and it's so bizarre and and uh, five minutes before we had gone to bed he had um, gotten down and hugged her and I had one of those little throwaway cameras and I took a picture so I have that like five minutes before he left that night yeah